गाइज आई हैव एन अनाउंसमेंट जीरो वन इज शटिंग डाउन आई नो ये थोड़ा सरप्राइजिंग है बट दैट्स द रियालिटी वी हैव बिन क्रिएटिंग वीडियोज फॉर सो मेनी मंथ्स नाउ बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली हमारे चैनल का इतना ग्रोथ हो ही नहीं पा रहा यार एटलीस्ट नॉट एज मच एज वी एक्सपेक्टेड वी लव यू ऑल एंड वी थैंक यू फॉर योर सपोर्ट बट दिस वीडियो इज द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ जीरो वन चैनल That's the scam we did in the office to scare the bajijis out of everyone that zero one has shut down and with those reactions a lot of them actually believed it but that's not the scary part the scary part is the video that you saw was completely deep fake it wasn't me we didn't shoot it it was created by a computer by people who've never done this before we figured it out in just a day or two Imagine what a real scamster can do with just creating a deep fake. Talking about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. You can't trust the voice, you can't trust the photo and you can't trust the video anymore. All it takes is just 30 seconds of your voice. People are just getting fooled by these things. IT decision makers in India continue to express concerns over deep fake technology. This is a very big threat to democracy. Prime Minister Modi takes note calls deep fakes one of the biggest threats facing think if this technology goes wrong it can go quite wrong so in this episode we're going to talk about the good and the bad cuz clearly the internet will deep fake you let's get started i want you to tell me which of these videos are fake okay how about this one or this one I'm sure that was difficult some of them were a little difficult to tell whether they were fake or real and this is how good the tech has become and the problem is it's getting better and better the gap between what's real and what's not is slowly just blurring out and we don't know what's generated and what's just plain fake Manipulating video is nothing new. We've been doing it for decades, probably close to 100 years. In fact, when video started, we used to have film strips and we could cut or splice those positive film strips to create a new version from what was originally shot. And that gave us a new version and more control over how we could change perception of reality via this new medium. And then came computers, which obviously changed everything. it could create fire out of nowhere in fact one of my favorite movies forest gump run forest run run where tom hanks meets all these people from different parts of history was completely made using visual effects today it's slightly easier to do but back then it was ground breaking and of course the entire entertainment industry visual effects industry benefits from this tech because it makes cost of production cheaper in fact this movie had multiple deep fake technologies used to dub it into different languages it is stereo ne shikata na yes toda por mi culpa another good use of this deep tech is david beckham's campaign around malaria and this entire campaign you see in front of you was created using deep tech technology Malaria isn't just any disease. Se dice que ha matado más de la mitad de la población. Hame ahora di carvain ki zarurat hai. This was really useful and perhaps many many lives were saved. So first let's talk about GANs. I can't say GANs. So how So why have deep fakes become so realistic all of a sudden? How did we go from this to this? And the answer is here, the generative adversarial network. It's basically a new way of computing all of this and generating these images. On one side we have a generator and on the other side we have a discriminator. Now the job of this algorithm is to generate an image based on the training data we've given, let's say an image of an orange. And through that image of an orange the generator will generate an image like this. The discriminator will say this does not look like an orange and keep saying no until we get a picture of an orange. That's why once these both nodes agree this looks exactly like an orange. So the reason is called deep fake because it uses deep learning technology and of course you can face swap people using this technology and fake because <laughs> well you know it's fake. Now 
And speaking of fakes, the biggest problem and misuse of this entire tech is just sexualizing women. In fact, 98% of all deep fakes right now are around the adult industry and 99% are geared towards women. It may or may not be completely explicit, but even something as simple as this video, where Rashmika's face was swapped with someone else without her permission and this video goes viral, this was deep tech, but done without her permission. Should this really be allowed? Shouldn't, right? It's not like deepfake just came in 2024. Deepfakes have been around for many years now, but the tech has become a little more efficient, which is why when you look at deepfakes history, you'll see that very famous actors and actresses deepfakes were created four or five years ago because there were a ton of information of them on the internet, in the movies, on YouTube. But now, with a new efficient technology, just a few videos can create a deep fake and that's why this could now be anyone's game. And the problem is even bigger because now there are certain ways on the internet where you can put in a few photos and just take out a deep fake. This obviously is too easy and can be misused and probably is right now. And towards the end of this video, we'll talk about how we can spot a deep fake. Actually, someone in our office got a call from a lady. Hello, sir. This is Swati from ABCD Bank. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Rishi Sarma sir, 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 Please share it. Please don't call me again. Now luckily this guy is at 01 so he knew this is a scam and shut it down. And we found out that this was a man using voice modulation and pretending to be a woman. Now to be honest, you're probably not surprised about this. This sounds like a pretty basic scam. But think about what you could do with this voice cloning technology. Imagine this. Your parents are sitting at home and they get a call on WhatsApp with a display picture of a police officer and they pick up the call. The person introduces himself as an officer and says your son slash daughter has been found guilty in drunk driving and you need to give us 70,000 rupees for us to let him go because you know this is an illegal offense etc etc and they scare the hell out of your parents. The parents now know this could be a scam but suddenly they hear your voice. You're crying, you're in pain and you say mommy jaldi se paise bhej do. I really need this, I need to get out of here. Now in that panic, your parents will probably transfer that money only later on to find out that your son slash daughter is completely fine and that voice was not his hers, it was just a voice clone. This is not a story, this has actually been happening. Look at these news reports, this is already happening in the country. If you've not heard about this or if you have been scammed by something like this using AI, tell us the story in the comments and we'll feature it on Zero One's Instagram. And the stories don't stop there. I mean, I have one more story and it says a voice deepfake was used to scam a CEO out of 243,000 US dollars. Dollar ki baat kar Not 2 lakh rupees. 2.5 lakh dollars. Oh my God. Now, the same thing can actually be used in a video call as well. Now, this video call could last a few seconds. They do low lighting, bad quality, and a relative or someone you know asks for money and the phone is out. These calls last a few seconds and they say something extreme, like they're in trouble, XYZ happened, they urgently need the cash, and in the panic, you don't notice the lip movement, the new phone number, and all these other things. You're just trying to help your friend or your relative. And there are a lot of stories around this too. Like this employee over here was scammed of $25 million because he got a call from the company CFO. The money was transferred only to find out the video call, although it was real, the video itself was deep faked. I'm going to tell you a very simple way to figure out whether something is real or not. So look at this video very carefully and tell me whether it's real or fake. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-cop. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-democracy. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-American. Now, as you can see, this is obviously fake. I mean, you could tell, right? So pause the video, write in the comments. Yes, I think it's fake. Write it. That's Joe Biden. He's a, he doesn't talk like that. Look at his eyes. They were not blinking. Fooled you. That was actually real. This was a real video and because he wasn't blinking, it looked like a deep fake, but this is actually a real video. My point is, we don't know the difference about what's real and what's fake. The lines are getting really blurred. And Joe Biden, can you please blink? 
The fourth problem is false information and this one is a little scary. This year, January 2024, a lot of people in America got a call from Joe Biden saying do not vote this election. And this call was completely deep faked. Imagine the misuse and misinformation that is spread through this because elections are a really important part of democracy. And this is not just reserved for people in America and Europe. It happened in India too. Mukesh Ambani ka ek proper deep fake bana tha asking people to invest in this new investment opportunity and people lost money in it because they thought Mukesh Ambani is actually talking about this. But it was a complete deep fake. The most interesting thing about humanity is our ability to work in groups and cooperate over really large scales without knowing the other person. Humanity has found a way to do it through systems and processes and through storytelling. And because we believe in those tales, we're able to cooperate en masse and work together. And that is the reason of our progress. So in one word, the reason of our progress is communication. Think about Hitler. He could, with a speech and talking, move people. Hitler is thrilled and delighted to die for him in wars. The problem with AI is not just the scams. The problem is, as Yuval puts it, that AI has hacked the being of what makes us human. It has hacked communication. Suddenly the communication is being done by an AI who do we really believe? And what if it comes up with its own culture that's better than what we think about? Tell us to do things that maybe aren't good for us, but because the storytelling is so powerful, we actually do it. I think that is a little more scarier than anything else. Which is why, before scaring you a little more, let's talk about some solutions and how we can combat this entire problem. So the first most obvious one is that AI created the problem and AI will give us a solution. In fact, we already have some bots right now which you can use to figure out if it's artificially generated or not. Point number two, watch and listen carefully. Look at the lips very carefully. Do they look slightly out of sync? Like I just did right now. That was artificial intelligence. If the lips seem slightly off, there is a good chance that some kind of AI was used to create this. And sometimes the audio is just a little not that clear. In a video call that is deep fake, know the limitations of the tech right now. Having your hands in front of your face and talking is not good for the AI and it doesn't render properly. So if they can't do this very easily, that could be a red flag. If they can't move their heads around too easily, that could be a red flag. All of these things are red flags, especially if it's coming from an unknown number. Solution number four, if you see a video or a voice clip that just sounds really extreme and is going viral on the internet and everyone is just reacting to it. That the man who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. Chances are that may not be real. Give it some time, someone will figure out whether it is actually fake or not. Don't react in that moment. And obviously, just don't share that video. I mean, we can all do our bit in not letting it spread further. And finally, number five, report the deep fake. Or if someone tries to scam you, report that scam. So the cybercrime authorities actually know about it. And you should use them by going to this website, fill this up and tell the authorities about it. The link is in the description and save that link. Who knows when you might need it. If you found this interesting, Please let us know what you think about it and maybe don't share this video. Tell one friend about all of this so all of us know about the scams that could happen to us and we can be a little more vigilant, a little smarter. If you thought this was good, say something nice in the comments. Don't say something nice. I saw you guys do that last time. Say a few words about it and see you in the next episode. <laughs>